Hey Pete, look what I made. My wife wants to do an escape room at work, as in she's designing an escape room for her colleagues to do. She asked me if I could make a physical puzzle that could be part of that escape room. I still had this old clock laying around that is a factory clock, so it means that it's centrally controlled. Every time it gets an electrical pulse, the minute moves one minute ahead. Brilliant for in factories. That is the centerpiece of what I built into this cabinet. The idea that they have with this escape room is that there's a bomb at work and that you have one hour to dismantle the bomb or work blows up, something like that. Um, the way the bomb can be dismantled is by putting the right keys in the right slits over here. These are the keys that you will find during an hour-long puzzling. Um, and then you have to put them in. I'm going to shovel them a bit so that the people that might going to do the escape room actually don't know uh, which one goes where. At some point you're going to have these four keys and then you're putting them in. You see these little LEDs here. Um, they're blinking when there's nothing there. As soon as you put one key in, they're going to be solid. Just to indicate to you, look, something is in here. Um, when you put all of them in, it will tell you whether they are in the correct slits or not. Let's go. Red, 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 green. One is good, but every time you try it and you fail, you get three penalty minutes. So maybe slide them one more. This one there, this one here, this one here. Green, 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 green. Bomb has been diffused. Um, so, bomb has been diffused. So, uh, if you want to know how I made this, if you look inside of here, you can see there's a uh, Arduino Mega over there. On stacked on top of it is an MP3 shield um, that allows me to play those sound effects through those USB speakers that I connected to the MP3 shield. The clock needs more than 16 volts pulses to move one minute, so. I chained two 9 volt batteries together and those are controlled through a relay that's connected to your Arduino. Um, every slit over there has two sensors. First is a simple light barrier. The moment one of the keys gets put in, light is being uh, blocked through to the sensor so we know that at least a key is in there. Each of these sensors has a little magnet here. This one is here. Each of these slits has a hole sensor that detects magnetic field at the location where the magnet should be. So in that way we can detect if the right key is in the right slit. So we can detect whether there's a key at all and we can detect if the right one's there. We visualize what's going on only using red and green dual color uh, LEDs. Power is going through just a simple power bank so the thing can be closed for more than an hour. Yeah, and then if the hour is over, 